8,720 pounds, open range light, 321 BHTS, and I miss the way these things were. When you hear, they don't make them like that anymore. They literally don't make them like that anymore. It's extra wide, it's extra tall, it's got an extra deep uh, main living room slide that's carpetless. Open range is the one that broke the mold on that. Um, private rear bunk room with four separate sleeping spaces, which is cool, with a big camp kitchen. Usually when you get the big camp kitchen, you get the camp kitchen and three spaces. This is giving you that fourth individual bed. Um, the uh, bathroom's up by the master, which I think is kind of nice because it gives you a shower instead of a tub. You see there's a full RV cover and glue with this. It is clean as a whistle. It's beautiful. The, the, oh, the, the front passenger's packed with accessories. The only significant issue I see with this RV is that it's parked in my driveway instead of yours. <laughs> so, I mean, we're taller, we're wider, we're bigger, better, brighter. It is just, it's warm and welcoming. It's, yeah, I don't Oh, this is such a fun generation of this product. This was like, at the time these came out, uh, they were one of my very favorite RVs like ever created. Things like this, um, all these big giant, you know, windows over here on the door side of the RV, all the, uh, in the super slide, the carpetless slide, like nobody else was doing this stuff at the time. Open range was like a serious, like trailblazer. They were a bunch of just cowboys. It's like, they, they looked at RV design like a lawless wasteland, and there were no rules that everybody else followed. They could do whatever they wanted, how, when, where, why they wanted. And it, and it shows. Sorry. Sorry for gush of it. Like, I, I really, I really like this RV. Little details, too. Like, be, uh, behind the, uh, the bunk room privacy door right here, just a little stopper on the wall so the kids don't bash it into the wall. You got a quadruple drunken octopus coat hanger fight club going, hey, put up your dukes, buddy. You want to fight about it? Yeah, yeah, I do. Watch me. I got the reach advantage, punk. <laughs> now, interesting note. I said seven foot tall. That's a seven foot tall minimum at that rear wall. If you trace the line of that slide fascia you see how it actually grows as we go to the right it's because this has both an east west exterior vaulted sweep as well as a north south front to back vaulted sweep you've got that flip up bunk the uh that's an aluminum frame dinette down there and that is actually an extra deep slide out just like the living room is extra deep that is a true very comfortable for adult uh seating situation right there and this thing if you're looking for Something other than just a conventional stick and tin bunkhouse. You want to convert into an office space. This one right here. Now this I can see was built with the uh, what was optional party package instead of just a bed. They kind of convert that into a little bit more of a sofa space. And it sure doesn't look back here like it was used real hard. Like what I'm looking for here is in the bunk room. I'm looking for like where the kids scuffed stuff. I don't see any of that. Like, I'm looking for crumbs and dirt and Legos and stuff all over. Like, there's none of that. It's, it's just great. It's just, <laughs> it's just really, really great. <laughs> Little uh, sweeper rooney cleanup station there, looks like, in that dedicated closet space. And, you know, closet space, dresser space, things like that. Plus, there's storage below that dinette, by the way, which folds down into another sleeper. Um, you just don't always get stuff like that. I don't know if you caught that on screen. 300 pound rated uh, bunks minimum in these. So rolling our way back out of here, sipping on gin and juice, cruise our way over to the uh, uh, kitchen arrangement. Give you just kind of a pass through on everything. I think we've already kind of peaked it a little bit. I want to give you a, a look at all the storage stuff. There is a little bit of storage behind the uh, TV as well. Um, where do I want to begin? There, I, there's a lot. Let's, I don't know, let's just start here. Let's just start here and work our way around. <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot of storage capacity all packed in here. And this island, man, like I love that uh, it's also got a wastebasket built right into it. But you see how there's like tons of dresser, or not dresser, I'm sorry, kitchen drawer space in there, different type of drawers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Now you might notice how there's like a really aggressive toe kick on that. That's because that extra deep slide over here actually has to slide under it just a little bit. Uh, power vent fan up top here as well. It's a simple four inch blade fan, but that means that if you wanted to upgrade to something else since the power lines already run, 
it's very easy. Like, all you, you just hook up the wires and you're good to go. The Hengs Vortex fans are perfect for that. I know I talk about them all the time. I, I think it's because they're, like, one of the best for doing that. Now, I'm not, like, a home and garden television guy. I suck with, like, colors and stuff. I'm not good with words on these things. But... My wife has advised me this is called hound's tooth pattern. But I'm sorry. Tell me that does not look like uh, the guys from like the old Atari Space Invader Galaga game. You know, the dude that comes down and like steals your ship and then you can shoot him and then you have a double ship. That's exactly what that looks like. Hound's tooth my foot. There's nothing looking like a hound's tooth about that. Full storage below the bed. Uh, we're going to hard segue off my old Atari uh, glory days, by the way. True queen bed, by the way. And since it's a true queen and wide body, we've got all the room in the world to walk around this thing. Um, you know what I didn't check for is power outlets. Yes! Yes! They have them under the overhead cabinets. Awesome! Well, good. Then, you know, if it's just phone charging or something else, you're good to go. These are 50 amp service, by the way. If you want to, you could stuff a second air conditioner up in that vent up there. Now, it's a dual entry bed and bath as well. So, uh, you know, if, whether it's from the uh, like living room hallway or here from the bedroom, you can snake your way through. That That is, hold on, I want to make sure that you see inside this because you look at that, you're like, holy crap, and it's not bad. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a triangular shaped cabinet, but at a glance, it looks rectangular. And I don't like to work based on illusions or misconceptions or something. I try to provide uh, like transparency to a fault sometimes. Now, I usually like to close slides up, show you everything in road mode. I'm on some limited battery power here. And the fact is when the slides are closed on this one, you pretty much can't get to anything. Big extra deep slide over here. You see all that uh, frameless window action going on. Uh, the uh, previous owner swapped out the tires, put some Goodyear Endurance radials on there. So newer tires on this thing. Full RV cover has left it looking phenomenal. And these strong arm stabilizer bars right here, uh, Wildwood does those now. Open Range was the first major manufacturer I saw them ever do that from the factory level. And those things, uh, they live up to every ounce of hype keeping this RV sturdy at your campsite. But you see in here, whether it's leveling blocks, I see x chocks man, uh, the it looks like maybe the weight distribution hitch, all sorts of different things. Although, in that tote, hopefully they're unused, I see a freshwater hose and a sewer hose mingling. So you may need to just plan on replacing a couple hoses. But, I mean, that's... That's a drop in the bucket compared to everything else you're looking at here. This also, that nose cap on here was optional when this was built. Normally, they just had, I always thought it was a rather plain, blah looking nose, uh, fiberglass nose on the front. And that cap, though, gives it that just beefy fifth wheel kind of look. And one of the more interesting aspects of this floor plan is not only does it have that deeper living room slide between the slide and the wider body, giving us 10 extra inches of living space, basically a foot wider. Same thing in the bunk room. That's one of the reasons that bunk room just feels so ginormous by comparison. Now, something that's a little interesting is they had this tail-mounted docking center uh, for a number of years. I always really, really liked it. It made more sense. A lot of trailers, uh, especially fifth wheels, they seem to standardize the hookups up in the front pass-through area, which makes sense because there's more space to do it there. But campground hookups are in the back of the RV. This right here makes more sense to me, at least. And a big, this is one of the most highly appointed, uh, feature heavy outside camp kitchens I think I've ever seen. You know, full microwave, outside speaker entertainment, even back here. So you can hear the stereo whether you're up front or out back. Real sink that does drain. And then down here, you have actually two gas grill quick connects. So you can use the little two burner stove top that is uh, included with this RV right there. But you see that it's also got a bumper bracket for like a full outside grill. That might be in the front passer. There's so much stuff packed in there I couldn't see it and it just might not be here. But the fact is you could have the main dish and the sides going all at the same time. Now this RV actually came to us from a little ways away. Uh, <laughs> the way that the skin and everything looks, it's obviously been cleaned and, and protected regularly. What we're looking at here is just driving dust, getting it over here to Advantage One. Now we're walking on plywood up here, which is another very uncommon quality in the towable RV industry. I see where there's been a couple little touch-up beads applied. The uh, the sealants overall look pretty good. 
A couple of them maybe are approaching a spot where they need a couple touch-up beads as well. But for the most part, this just looks absolutely fantastic. Now there's like this white hockey puck on the back here. You definitely don't want to go slapping that thing like Wayne Gretzky. Um, but that is an attic vent. So all of the heat from the sun that builds up in the roof construction here between the uh, ceiling panels inside and the roof outside, all packed up in that insulation, it allows that, a lot of that heat to breathe out. By the way, forced air, heated and closed underbelly, open ranges, zero to 100 degree, uh, tested, proven, there you go. So stop on by, grab a drink, join us for a little bit. When I say drink, uh, during working hours, it's gonna probably have to be more traditional water uh, rather than barley water, keep that in mind. But give us a call down here at Advantage 1RV. Whether it's this just big, beautiful thing or something else we might have on hand, you can always check our website. And I do try to keep our YouTube channel here up to date so you can see what we actively have in stock. Understand there's always a little bit of an exchange as some things are coming in and coming out. But we're here. We're ready. We can do financing. We can do trades. We can do hitching. Anything you need, we can get it done. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And have an A1 day, everyone.